You are listening to Words with a Mad Coach. I am Mad Coach. I am Mad Coach. I am. I like storytelling. Or you didn't perform the way you thought you should have performed, and now you're starting to second guess yourself. I am Mad Coach. I am Mad Coach. I am. What's going on inside your heart? Let's look at it from this perspective, the Mad Coach. I am Coach Sess. You are listening to Words with a Mad Coach. What are some of the things that you can think about that make a champion athlete? You know, uh, it's easy for us to say, oh, what about his natural talent? You know, his speed, his athletic gifts, uh, environment, you know, how he was nurtured. His father took him to every training session. His mother picked him up. He had good grades, when, especially when it comes to mixed martial arts, having the right coach, having the right team, the right training partners. Um, the right mindset. What about good recruitment for a particular martial art team? I am talking about training room dynamics, and I'm going to dive into this concept, you know, this week in different videos, but I want to get things started with this primer and thinking about training room dynamics this way. Number one, good rooms happen by dumb luck. You know, a martial arts instructor who desires to be competitive opens up a gym and just pure dumb luck. He invites people and those people come in and they have a particular set of attributes that work out for the gym. They're just tough people and they they get some champions. They get some winners. Just pure dumb luck. You know, he opens up his gym next to a wrestling uh, college campus and pure dumb luck. These guys walk in and boom. Same thing with uh, anything you can think of, military, a sports complex, just pure dumb luck. He, he, did, he didn't set out to do anything, just pure dumb luck. He opened up his gym and there it is. The second way you want to think about uh, training room dynamics is an instructor comes in, he has probably one of the best programs but he doesn't know he has one of the best programs. He's just confident in that program. In other words, he hasn't gone out to measure his program. He just knows that whatever we have, it works. There's a lot of unknown factors here because you really don't know why it works, but you're getting good results. The third way of finding good room dynamics is just to recruit. You know, you recruit the fastest guys, you recruit the strongest guys, the guys who already have the black belts in jiu-jitsu, the guys who've already trained in Muay Thai for four plus years. And you put this team together. And we saw this being done with black zillions when they were down in Florida. So these are three processes that are very common. And then there's a fourth, but this one is harder. It's harder only in the sense if you don't know how to do it. And that is you develop the unique attributes. So if you think about individual attributes you as a person you're smart you're tall you're strong you're fast you're your unique personal uh attributes that are attributed to you only your group dynamics have everything to do with um what the total room is made up of but we don't just take uh into account you know all the strong guys and all the fast guys and all the wrestlers and all the jujitsu players the key is to understand group training room dynamics in terms of how do I put the right people together? They get the greatest results. So no, putting all your black belts together isn't always going to work. This is something we see in team sports, especially basketball and football, when they try to recruit the superstar athletes from other teams and assume that it's going to work out. But sometimes you have these personality conflicts that don't allow for it to work out. And and something that small of a personality conflict can be everything to crush a system. So in these next couple of weeks, I'm going to talk about training room dynamics from each one of those perspectives. But the one that I'm going to try to put the most focus on is how you develop your own uh, dynamics. In other words, how do you take people who aren't as athletic, but you make them competitive versus the people who are so that's the game hey look i am coach sess and you've had words with the mad coach